<laughs> well, remember last summer, it's hard not to. Southeast Texas experienced a significant drought, and with the extreme heat comes a lot of issues that we're all too well familiar with. But us friendly neighborhood meteorologists are doing our best to keep you safe and weather smart this summer. Summer is right around the corner, and although Southeast Texas is no stranger to a bit of a summer sizzle, it's always important to avoid heat-related health risks, such as heat stroke or heat exhaustion. The National Weather Service may have made doing that just a little easier. I'm meteorologist Jeremiah Stewart. Let's get weather smart. Southeast Texas has already experienced a number of severe weather events this spring, from tornadoes to flooding. But believe it or not, it's the heat that often packs the greatest punch. Heat is the number one weather-related cause of death in the United States, accounting for more deaths than tornadoes, floods, and hurricanes combined. Following last summer's historic heat, the National Weather Service has developed the heat risk map. This will provide everyone a better understanding of potential heat-related impact. The map is a color numeric based index, basically meaning that it's color coordinated for the greatest heat risk. Green, or level zero, means there's little to no risk, then it works its way up to magenta, or level four, indicating extreme risk. Some of those ingredients that we look for ahead of a potential heat wave are humidity levels, wind direction, and high pressure placement. Southerly winds streaming in moist air from the Gulf of Mexico increases humidity. Couple that with high pressure, and you hinder the development of cloud coverage and rain chances. Those are two things that would otherwise cool temperatures down. Temperatures are then able to soar, and it feels hotter than it actually is thanks to the humidity. If you have to be outdoors for a prolonged period of time during the heat, take extra precautions by drinking plenty of water and taking breaks indoors. In the Weather Center, meteorologist Jeremiah Stewart, 12 News.